Hello everyone, how are you? Hope all is well. Um, I'm gonna give you a little of the astrological uh, rundown for the month of August. So I am looking at my notes because I don't wanna forget anything. So <clears throat> Saturn right now is in currently in retrograde. That means that Saturn is going backwards and it is in Aquarius, okay? This is all about reconstructing yourself. Okay, reconstructing yourself, reconstructing and building things over again. So it's a great time for that. Um, on the 8th of August um, is our new moon. It is going to be in Leo this time. Um, and that is a great time to express yourself, to better express yourself. Um, the things that you want to talk about maybe to, with others. So that's a great time for that. On the 22nd of August, that will be our full moon. Okay. And the full moon um, it, it is going to be a blue full moon. And it will be in Aquarius. So that is just a little bit of things, guys, that um, you guys can look at. Great time for uh, recharging yourself expressing yourself in. So make sure you guys do that. And don't forget, um, new moon is a great time to charge, charge crystals, things like that. Um, also the full moon, uh, you can charge your crystals also. And, uh, you know, do your intentions, um, on, you know, the new moon and the full moon also. So great, great, time. Um, and there's not a whole lot going on this month, um, astrological wise. So it's just a little bit of that. Now let's get on with your readings, loves. See you in a bit. Hello, my loves. How are you? Hope all is well with you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Guys, today I'm going to be doing your weekly or monthly reading, and this will be for my Capricorns. And this will be for August. Hope you guys had a great July. Um, I have been busy. Um, working, cleaning, um, kind of rearranging stuff around here, uh, genealogy stuff, especially I've been working on, um, what a chore that is. I have a closet, no lie, full to the ceiling of genealogy stuff. So I've been working on getting that organized, um, so I can find things and, um, separating things, um, into, uh, people, you know, uh, I swear my great-grandmother and my great-great-grandmother saved every single newspaper clipping and article and everything. Um, so I have so much stuff. I have, um, I want to say, maybe about 20-some diaries um, between the both of them. And uh, I have so much stuff. It's, it's unbelievable. Pictures and people I don't even know who some of these people are. But it's really pretty cool once you get into it, but it's a lot of stuff. All right, so let's get on with your reading Capricorns. Angels, guides, and spirits. What is it um, that Capricorn needs to know for August, please? more cards. Two more. There they are. All right. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going to be going on here. All right. So the first cards I am going to read are your inner cards. Okay. These are the cards that are here now or the cards that will be coming in quickly for you. I have the nine of clubs, the number 26 card. This is the park. Um, if you are single, you will find a new love, um, and it may be in an outdoor type setting outside, um, maybe amongst trees, um, grass, park bench, maybe a park, 
um, but you will find somebody. Ten of spades, the number 30 card. This is the rod, and this um, predicts some family quarrels. So some family quarrels may be coming up for you. Um, it usually starts with a distant person. So a relative that is not real close or doesn't live in town um, may be starting these. Nine of spades, the number 41 card. This is the rose. This indicates beauty and rugged health. So beauty and rugged health are here for you. Ten of Clubs is the number 35 card. This is the Tower card. Okay, this um, means that you may be coming down sick um, or getting a cold, maybe ill. Um, so make sure you take your Echinacea, your uh, Airborne if you take that, uh, Vitamin C. You know, build up your immune system so that you don't get sick. Number three of Hearts, the number one card. This is the Sun Happiness and popularity are here for you. So that is awesome. Then I have the five of hearts. This is the number two card. You guys have one and two right in a row. That's awesome. I have the moon. Okay, this is a good omen. This is out uh, predicts fortune. So fortune is on its way to you. Then I have the seven of hearts, the number 21 card. That is really weird. You guys had one and two. Then you had 21. Isn't that weird? Um, this is a stork. This is a change in your residence, um, and it's for the better. So somebody may be moving in with you. Somebody may be moving out. You uh, may be moving. Um, there may be some home renovations of some sort, uh, but something to do with your residence is going to be changing for the better. And the last one I have in your inner reading is the Eight of Hearts. This is the number 36 card. This is the cat. Flattery. Somebody's going to flatter you. You're going to flatter somebody else. You may have a secret admirer of some sort. So you're going to have a little flirtation going on there. All right. So now I'm going to read your outer cards. These are the cards that are hanging out there. They're waiting to come into you. Okay. This is the seven of clubs, the number 20 card. This is the lily, my favorite flower. This is a happy family life. Um, and this is an awesome card. I love this card. So everything looks good in family wise. The three of diamonds at number 48. This is the money safe. Okay, and this is right above you. So your money finances aren't going to change much um, this month. It's kind of going to stay the same as it has. Um, so nothing significant to do with your money is going to be happening. Um, next, I have the three of spades. This is the number 10 card. This is the most phenomenal, phenomenal card in the deck. This is the best card that you can get. This is a uh, high honors. Phenomenal luck. Uh, great abundance, high honors. All of your ambitions will be obtained with this card. Best card. Five of diamonds, number 28 card. This is the anchor. Success is coming your way, but you need to stay where you're at. You know, stay at that job. Stay with the person. Um, stay put for a little bit. And that success and those riches and that fame and business uh, adventures, all that is going to be coming to you. Ace of Diamonds, the number nine card. This is the birds. And uh, this is a misfortune um, by a fierce enemy. There, so there's an enemy out there, an enemy near, that uh, wants to cause you some harm or pain. Um, so be on the lookout for that. If you know who this person is, move on from that person. Get rid of that person. If you don't know who that person is, keep your eye out. Here's another card, um, Six of Diamonds, the number 51 card. You're going to get some bad news, okay? A uh, sudden shock you're going to have from some kind of bad news. It's usually along the lines of something breaking down or uh, that you just don't have the means to fix it or you don't want to fix it or something along that lines. That's usually what that means. Eight of Diamonds. This is the number 44 card. This is the uh, broken glass. So um, this is um, lottery, gambling. Um, has to do with putting your names in drawing. You're not going to be as lucky as you once were in that aspect. So I wouldn't go out and gamble or play lottery or things like that because your luck is kind of diminishing on the aspect. 
last card I have for you guys in your main reading is the Ten of Hearts. Okay, this is the number seven card. This is the bouquet. Bouquet of flowers. And this indicates a long and a happy life. And uh, high honors and fame will be there for you. So that is awesome. All right, so let's talk to universe. Universe, is there any added, uh, anything to add to that reading that I just did or anything that you'd like to clarify for that reading I just did for my Capricorns? And thank you. Got them all out at once here. Mm, you guys got a lot of cards. Let's see here. We have Summer Solstice. We have Gaia. We have DNA, Stone People, New Moon, the Lake, the River, and Music. All right, so let's, um, let me look at these just for a moment here. Okay, so what I have here, <coughs> sometimes you put up a wall, sometimes you, um, you know, you don't let people in. Um, you put up that wall. You've been hurt before. And you don't want to... to let people know everything about you. You kind of hold things back. Um, so you need to open up, they're telling you. Um, you know, open up. Show yourself. Show your true self. Um, shine. Um, kind of let people in. Don't be so, um, I guess what I want to say is maybe afraid, um, to let people in because you don't want to get hurt. Um, it's okay. Um, it's okay to let people in. It's okay to, um, to open up is what I want to say. Okay. Remember that, uh, karma, um, what you put out there into the universe is what you get back. So put good out and good will come back. Put bad out, bad will come back. Karma will bite you in the butt. So if you've been hurt, remember that the karma is going to happen. Um, you don't know when, but eventually karma will prevail. I want you to um, kind of stay still, but move. You, I don't know if that makes any sense to you. Um, kind of... It's like that lake and that river, right? They're kind of calm for the most part, right? You know, you go and sit by a lake and it's it's calm sometimes for the most part. Same way with a river. Um, There is movement in the river, but the stillness is there. So maybe um, do some meditation. Maybe take some time for yourself um, and, you know, think about the things that you want to accomplish and to get. Then I have, um, we did the summer solstice, um, that radiance is shining. It's bright. You know, you have that sun up there and it's shining bright on you. Um, we have the new moon promises. Promises are there and be nurturing. Um, take, spend some time out in nature, maybe, um, maybe take a walk, um, maybe sit outside and listen to the birds or something, but spend some time out in nature, spend some time listening to things. Um, and the promises are there guys. Um, you know, the, the, the things that you want are going to be there for you. Um, you just need to kind of do a little bit of work on yourself. And then we have music dance. You know, dance, be happy, be cheerful, spend time, um, and just enjoy life. Enjoy yourself. Okay. All right, so let's talk to Spirit. Spirit, give me a card uh, for my Capricorns, please, for August. A card that they need to hear for August. I think it's that one right there. 
dearest you. There is only one you. And you have a unique path and a special purpose. You're supposed to have a have specific experiences in this world to meet certain people. But then it is up to you to how you live. How you awake. Choose to be. And how willing you are to grow and strip away what's false. Don't compare yourself to others. It's easy to think a person is happier just because they're outside looks good according to society's standards but you can't know everyone's internal experiences compare yourself only to your past life see how far you've come don't be distracted by what others are doing or accomplishing stay focused on what inspires you that's how you get successful and find happiness want what you have now not what someone else has. We love you immensely and know your journey ahead is sparkling with miracles and wondrous things. Trust. Loving you forever and ever. Okay, so don't think that just because somebody has the nice car, the nice house, the boat, the lake house, that um, they're happy. Okay? Um, you don't know how they live. They may have a uh, abusive spouse. They may be having depression. You don't know what they're going through. Um, so live your life to your fullest. Live life um, and don't worry about what others have. What the Joneses across the street has, who the heck cares? You know, if you're happy, that's all that matters. Okay, miraculous things are going to happen for you. Wonderful things are going to happen to you. Okay, believe in it and trust in it. One last card for you guys, and this will be your um, mantra card or your reflection card for the month. Give me your reflection card for my Capricorns, please. My future is glorious. My future is glorious. I now live in limitless love, light, and joy. All is well in my world. Right? All. If you believe it, it's going to happen. All is well in your world. Your future is glorious. I love it. Remember that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with all of you, so be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising readings also. It gives you that better picture into your full reading. I love you guys. Hope you have a wonderful and an absolutely amazing August, and I'll see you next time.